Can you believe it? I think I may entitle this One Fine Day. So what you're looking at right here is Notchville. Uh, some of these you did see on video, the fines, but these I weren't, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I wasn't even able to get on video. Uh, it started to rain. And then there's some materials here. I mean, believe it or not, this is, this is it that I found. And this is whole. And this is whole. It's worked off. So I found actually three broke points and a piece of material that I'm going to send down to a buddy. Uh, vein quartz. Nice chunk of it. But uh, all in all, that's the material. And it's good material there, isn't it? Don't want to be too rushed on it. But I know this is a limited amount of time because I have some other videos I'm going to upload. So let me show you these because you didn't see these in the field yet. But look at this. When it came to finding points today, they just happen to be whole. <laughs> it just it just happens sometimes. I mean, unbelievable. I mean, yeah, there's there's a little nick off off one of the ears, but I mean, in, in the tips. But these are uh, pretty good stuff. And there's a lot of rhyolite there, but today seemed to be a, a quartz point day. So let's look at these in the cleanup uh, as a total excellent day at Notchville. Look at this point right here. up close and personal with the rhyolite stuff. It was raining through these five points, so I just wanted to show you these. And they're good finds. A lot of these are going to find different homes, and I usually know right away which ones I want to give away as gifts, and it's about the best gifts you can give. I mean, it's free for me, but uh, uh, they're highly valuable, you know, and they mean so much. This is an incredible piece right here. What a great base this is rounded off and worked at the bottom of this piece of quartz. Like this point with the work on this. Really do like that point. It's nice and, and thick, which I do like in some degrees. I'll take that any day. And then one that has some uh, rose quartz in it. And those were in the rain. Now these we did see, so I'm not going to take a whole long time and see if this will afford me the time to... Uh, make this video without it cutting off and just seeing the quartz in good natural light cleaned up. What an incredible gift to be able to get this stuff uh, from the North American Indian here in Eastern North Carolina and this is a great point as well. They make a lot of these Morrow Mountain points just work the quartz completely sharp. Worked and beveled right off the edges smooth as can be if you could just feel these unbelievable workmanship this was a great tip not common to see just a great piece that was on film and I, like I said I won't take too much time but just show you what they look like clean and close up and uh, it's just not common to have a day that you're looking at like this right here and many of you know that I mean and I'm not talking about all day that's for sure I can only go out for you know, a couple hours. This point, that's on film, but it looks great, cleaned up. I knew it would clean up, and I just didn't get the clean up on film. And this is a nice point right here. Of course, all this quartz is highly translucent, which a lot of you guys like. That was a great find. And to finish up, a couple small pieces. Some fun stuff. My goodness, right? What a flat out day. Just crazy. So not usually doing cleanups, but I just wanted to do that one for you and just show you. Oh my gracious. And that right there, that's Indian Trace. That's a stellar time out for me. Just blessed. So when you go when you guys go out there, just go out there and hope. And uh you know, that's what you're gonna be able to find on Indian Trace. Thanks for tuning in.